With the cost of living as it is at the moment, it's becoming harder and harder to justify the prices we pay within the fishing industry. We also know that walking towards the camera with your hands like this from a distance makes me seem like an economist that has some kind of idea of what I'm on about. But maybe I actually do. How about you could stay warm on the bank for under 65 quid? You can. If the price hasn't got your attention enough, then I'm sure the reviews will because these two sleeping bags are available exclusively from Lidster's Fishing Supplies on eBay. And the reason I'm telling you that now is because on eBay, of course, you get customer feedback on products and the distributor. If I scroll down on the page of these sleeping bags, you've got the detailed seller ratings, all of which are five star. And then you've got all the different responses of people that bought these exact items. And I'm just gonna read a few of them because it gives you more of an idea of how actual customers have gotten with them. Good vendor, quick delivery, great product. Very fast delivery, many thanks, five star. I am exactly as described, prompt dispatch, well packaged. Great first class service, thank you. Good seller, brilliant service, it's huge, thank you. For supplying the Very pleased with the sleeping bag. A great eBayer, this bag is snug as a bug in a rug. Quite a bit of a weight, but really warm, soft and cozy. Quality is top draw, it won't fall apart too soon. I could carry on, but I think you get the gist of it. So let's actually have a look at the two sleeping bags I've got with me, because there are slight different variations between them. But the one thing worth noting is they're both five season sleeper bags. They've got a really nice tog rating, soft, warm lining on the inside. But I'll show you how each of these actually come out. So to start with, they come in their own stuff bags, and I'm pretty sure they're about the same weight, maybe a few grams in it, but it's about three and a half kilos. So that's how much you're uh, gonna be lugging around with this, but they come in their own stuff sacks. So if you use this for camping as well as fishing, it's nice that you've got this. It looks oversized with all the drawstrings pulled in. So once I've got this out and try and put it back in, theoretically, it should go back in nicely. So if I just undo this one, loosen it all off. <laughs> now I may eat my words about this being an oversized stuffer sack because this is coming out pretty snug but I'll do my best later on and for the record I got them back in their stuff bags so it is doable now it's worth noting that both of these sleeping bags are actually from NGT but they are distributed through Lidsters so if I just roll this one out as I said they are two different sleeping bags and this one by the looks of things is the more sleeping bag style as you can see it's the perfect size for a sleeping bag up for a bed chair, sorry. And it does have a retention strap underneath here. So if I undo this, roll it out, this should clip round on the base end of the sleep of the bed chair, like so. That's nice and secure. And if I go up the head end, wrap around and secure it into place like so. So the seat bag is now secured to the bed chair itself, but it doesn't have a hood end to it so some people may not prefer having the sleeping bag that has the hood around it so it doesn't wrap around the top this one's more of a open fronted so if I undo that quick zips as you can see so it's easy to get in and out and on the inside really nice and soft almost fleece hopefully the wind doesn't blow anything away I'll pop the bag in there so it doesn't really nice warm fleece and a really thick feeling sleeping bag I gotta say it does feel really nice and thick you've also got the little velcro tabs which stop the hood end from opening when you have got it all zipped up but as you can see those zips are absolutely flying up so there's no issues with them getting snagged up when you're trying to get out for a take but it's quite a simple bag but sometimes you don't need all the bells and whistles that come with it it's going to keep you warm it looks nice and firm nice materials and then you've got the zips that fly open nice and easy and as i said it's got those little velcro tabs on either side so the side you've got zipped up shouldn't undo itself in the night when you're moving around so yes, it's simplistic, but it's not just a fishing sleeping bag. You could use this for camping. So if you're someone that fishes occasionally, you've got a bed chair you want to attach it to and make sure it doesn't fall off, then this is probably the option you'd go for because you can still take this camping, put it in its stuffer bag, and you're absolutely sorted. Now I'm going to switch these two bed chairs around so I can put this one onto the bed chair I'm currently sat on. So once again, we are greeted with the drawstring bag, which I'm just going to loosen off. Although they are quite snug bags, so I'm not sure it's going to make a huge difference. Then undo drawstring and try and get this one out. Now this one is slightly larger and slightly heavier than the other one because it is the one that has the elasticated hood, which will go around the head end of the bed chair, which makes it nice and snug. But it's also worth noting that the materials on both of these are a peach skin and they are rated to minus 10 degrees. Now, if you're out in minus 10 degrees, you're a bit mad if I'm honest, and I'd probably still take a hot water bottle. But it's nice to know that these are rated to down as that low. Just flick this one out. Actually, if I put it that way around, you'll see a bit more. You've got the drawstring on the middle or the, the little buckles, which will secure it onto the middle. 
we've got the elasticated foot end and the elasticated head end. So if I undo this buckle, flip it over, we will do the foot end first. And this is just my one of my Nash bed chairs, so it's a general size. The other one is a Carp Spirit one, I believe. So it shows that these sleeping bags are universal, they'll fit on anything. This is quite a luxury bed chair with memory foam and everything, so it's a more chunky one, but it's still fitting on perfectly. And that's the two head and tail end. Let's flip this over, put the buckle in, like so. And there we have a secured sleeping bag to the bed chair. Just like most sleeping bags would, head, foot aren't going anywhere because they're snug onto there and the middle one stops that from falling off either side. Now, as you can see, the differences are the head end now has all the way around the top. So you can put your pillow in there. You've got a bit more protection on your head to keep your head warm, but you've still got the same Velcro that keeps the top shut. The zips are the same, so they fly open. The ratings and everything are exactly the same. Really nice and soft inside and you've got the peach skin exterior. So yes, there may not be loads of bells and whistles of different baffles and pockets and things, but if you just want to stay warm, which is what most of us want to do in the winter, then this is exactly what you're going to need. And it doesn't break the bank, which is one of the best things about these items. Now going back to the reviews, that's not just from one or two people. That's, as I said, that's from absolutely loads of different people's reviews. And also looking at how many are sold, that's another thing that eBay can tell me, is that on the two listings of these that have been sent over that are currently up for 64.95, over 5,000, nearly 6,000 of these sleeping bags have been sold alone. So that's quite a substantial amount of sleeping bags that have been shifted. And that's quite nice of being able to see actual customers reviews on these, because often when I review these items, they're direct from suppliers, from fishing brands, and you don't often see the customer reviews until we put the videos up and people comment below saying what the thoughts are on these. But you can actually see the results of these from people that bought them. And that makes it a lot easier when you're looking to part with some of your cash. And as I said, at 64.95, you aren't really partnering with much. So for more information, please do follow the links in the description below. These are available from Lidster's Fishing Supplies on eBay, and there's nothing more to it. So do grab yourself a bargain if you like the look of these. But well, that's it for me for now. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.